warm welcome to everyone here as we gather around and settle in for session nine of the Shrouded Shore. I'm Ameline, Dragon Mom, and Dungeon Master for today's session, and with me are Cross as Justicia, Draken as Maker, Vertizen as Tom Grimm, and Yulia as Bailiff Driver. And would anyone like to kick us off with a summary of last session? You want to take it? <laughs> if if nobody else wants to take it, it does I'm, go to... I've I'm, I'm willing, but if you'd rather do it, I am more than happy to take you. I just need to find... Uh, uh, there it is. Your script? My script. <laughs> uh, last time on... Last time on the Shrouded Shore... With guilders <laughs> in hand and umbrellas overhead, the party left Pinus as they continued their journey to the center of Partu. After five days of stormy traveling, they arrive in the, at the quaint town of Thorthuil, a once popular destination of pilgrims traveling to the Old Temple. After a comfortable night of and fan service generously provided by Krom, our heroes visited the remains of Thorthuil's house of worship left standing only to provide an example to those who go against artists. There, there they met the sad servitor Alice, who, with comforting words from our own dear lass, managed to make Distichia severely uncomfortable and confused from a tear-sodden hug and a request to bring her wishes to the center of Partu. Emboldened, prepared, and emotionally more vulnerable, the group prepares to set out the gate into the overgrown wilderness of this, this subjugated land. Session 9 of the Shrouded Shore, the heart of Partu. If a god falls in the forest and no one's around to see it, did it really die? Interesting question. Yeah. Next time, I am actually going to insist on taking the recap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? You, uh, you can do that. I just... <laughs> Priority does go to the people who didn't do it last time, but if someone is someone is very ambivalent about taking it, then I will go to whoever seems to. We must want it keep most. it out of Cross's hands. Ah, uh, I approve of Cross's <laughs> A plus effort. It is. Very it's very good. Have a hero point. Yes. Well done. Ray. So, <sighs> you are as you embark the. Emerald darkness of the forest closes in around you. The skies are clear, but dense canopies close in overhead, allowing sunlight through only in mottled patches in rare clearings or in the places where one set of especially lush plant life has choked out enough competition to make some space. Enormous insects, most of them harmless, buzz between the trees, while periodically you will glimpse some enormous beast wholly unbothered by a presence. Two weeks travel, if all goes well. Then two weeks back, fingers crossed. Heading out, this will be your last chance for quite some time to supply in the comfort of civilization. Are you sure that you have everything you need from town before you go? No. <laughs> Let me double check my rations. It's invariable that we would have forgotten something immensely important. Oh dear. Rations are for the week. And the biological. Difference? <laughs> I believe that before the session, Ever did come to me with something you wanted to do before you left town. Really? Uh, yes. Um, before, uh, right before, uh, Krom, uh, gets ready to leave, he's going to head over to the, um, to the temple. <clears throat> He's going to take his axe and just slam it into the um into the monument where the um where the uh, what is that the plaque is and just leave his axe there. I want the triumphant uh, plaque. Yeah. Does he have yeah. an extra axe? No, he's just going to leave that axe there. 
He does have a great sword, though. Ah, okay. So, give me yes. a athletics check, I'll say. Is it still athletics to just try to break something? Um, um not generally. Athletics tends to be never and such. Um, honestly, you just... It's just an attack? Uh, I think I had an attack with the it would switch. So he's not really breaking, he's just driving the weapon in. Yeah. Yeah. If you're trying to destroy it, you, you total up his damage and so on, but mm -hmm. uh, if you're just yeah. diving the weapon to it, just mm -hmm. whatever's. <laughs> yeah. I'll say... Maybe even, maybe even just a strength check if you, ju if you just want to make up put the weapon to put the weapon in and say end it there and you want to try to remove it. I think... Yeah. Give me... A critical damage roll. Cool. Just like <laughs> make a make an attack, but you get an automatic crit on it. If it's a statement, make it a strength society check. <laughs> <laughs> you you fail the strength society check. You you destroy the plaque in a way that looks like you support the empire somehow. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what? Are... There. That and ooh, ooh. All right. Bonk. You do not quite reduce it to rubble, but you cleave a pretty deep gash right in the center of the thing. You just sort of like cleave down the top of it and leave your axe buried in the top you have in the process probably completely ruined the axe um because you have just struck a boulder with it at a with a great deal of force but it will be kind of a pain to remove you uh and that's, that's what i think of you eridan and he just uh Releases the axe and just leaves. You you cleave it in such a way the first line of the first line of the uh, inscription is let this ruin stand under the sanction of Eridon and the edge of your axe has just very neatly cut the name of the Empire in Twain as you carve a gash out of the rock. But with that, you you do hustle pretty much to the exit of the town because there aren't many guards, but like someone could still walk into that temple and wonder, hey, who defaced the local monument? <laughs> who defaced or defacement? Yes. Hey, look, if you win, then your monuments aren't vandalism. Yeah, see, look, it's defacing defacements. Instead of removing the axe, they're just going to put a smaller axe into that axe as a statement. Behold. <laughs> It'd probably make some sort of metaphor about, look at how the axe destroyed itself in smashing into this giant piece of rock. <laughs> it's a metaphor. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Uh, however, you do... make your way into the dense jungle known as the heart of Partail, crossing the river and setting foot into the deep wilds on your long trek. Now, along this way, there are four, uh, four challenges that we can be rolling here. The first is a survival or perception check to find, make sure that as you travel, you find safety, shelter, and places to rest night to night. Uh, truly secure places are often subject to competition from local wildlife. So finding ones which are defensible enough to get the full benefits of rest, like spell refreshes, healing, daily powers, etc., um, is going to require meaningful woodcraft. It's going to be difficult 
but uh, if you get this right, then you'll be able to get the benefits of like long rest between the encounters as you travel through these woods. Um, regardless, you will be able to rest when you reach the tomb of Nessus itself. It is a separate location from the jungle, and you will be able to take a breather as you finish your journey. Um, there will well, need to be a survival or athletics check to minimize backtracking, conserve stamina by overcoming obstacles in an efficient way, and so on. There's a lot of places here where there are deep valleys or enormous routes that require outright climbing to surmount or else require significant detours to bypass. Um, you'll need to make this check to avoid being fatigued for the duration of the hike and any encounters that occur along it. Are these individual checks, or is this a sort of a um, group lead check? It is going to be four checks. Each of you can make one check. If you fail a check, someone else can try it again, but that will leave one of the four checks unattempted. I see. So I'm spelling out what you get from each of them first. The third okay. check you can try is a stealth check to scout and avoid local megafauna, which will mean that if you do this, then during any encounters, the monsters will not have a bonus to initiative. And lastly, there's a survival or nature check in order to avoid exposure to various hazards that if failed, each of you will sustain a random uh, negative condition for the duration of the check trek as you are plagued by various things like much of the plant life in the heart of part two is vividly colored deathly toxic has thorns and spores and poisonous sap and all that good stuff to protect it's bright welcoming your touch yes it's so pretty look at the flower <laughs> look at the flower so, those are our four checks. A survival or perception to get the benefits of rest between fights um, that is a notably more difficult check than the others. A survival or athletics to avoid being fatigued. A stealth to prevent monsters from getting a bonus initiative. And a survival or nature to avoid exposure to hazards. Okay, I think this... obviously I should take the stealth check because it's the only one I've got anything in. This, you also um, do have that manual from the uh, from the helpful guide you found, the retired guide, which uh, gives you plus two uh, circumstance to any um, survival checks any of you make. This is proving that um, Destitia is a city girl and is not meant for these conditions. <laughs> The lobster can make any of these checks at a level of proficiency equal or surpassing the rest of the party. <laughs> You're going to have to explain why that is. It's just the skills that it has passively. I, don't, I didn't build the goddamn lobster. I mean, oh, did you find it? <laughs> no. No, I, it I just mean, appeared I, one I, day. I, 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 well, I, I didn't. Do, I didn't design the I didn't design the this quest feature. <laughs> is what I mean. <laughs> it just appeared one day. <laughs> but, Don't but, yeah. trust that lobster. <laughs> it has it has it has plus ten in all of these checks except survival, which is plus But 8. why? <laughs> because what it has feature plus is this? <laughs> uh construct companion. It just has all of these proficiencies at like a proficient at a trained level, and then it has plus four in all of its physical ability scores, except for constitution. You're going to have to explain that. Like, did he just upload like a survival <laughs> notebook into it or something? This is like basic it... for Lockmarin constructs. Yes. It How must... much force do they have over there in in the the plateaus? It's like uh... black man black children are not considered literate unless they can read magic. <laughs> I'm going to guess uh. that uh, it's probably the its degree of skills are probably like attributable to a lot of integrated tools. Yeah, probably. It's like the. Uh, 
the Mach 5. It just, like, pulls up buzzsaws to go through the forest. A periscope. Okay, I'm just looking. It's got perception, acrobatics, and athletics. How does it have nature? Uh, nature has nature. It, it, the, it's just a plus 7, but, uh, yeah, I guess. It's just that the, it's nature or survival, and it does have survival. Survival is the interesting one. Okay, so it's the well known only... that every robot has an affinity for the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> so the pretty much the only check that I have any capacity have any numbers for is the stealth check with a plus three. I'm untrained. In I, it. I've got a plus ten for stealth. <laughs> yeah, every, my survival is plus zero. My nature is plus zero. My athletics is plus zero. Uh, you probably want to take off perception then. Perception. perception. Oh, oh, I have a, I have a, a positive number in perception, which is six. It's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, That's the best I can do. I'll be lookout. So, shall you roll the perception check to see if? Oh, you mean the super hard important one? <laughs> You know? Rely on Dysthesia? <laughs> well, I, I suppose we should ask, do we want to risk failing the, this big one that lets us rest, or do we want to, like, put Dysthesia on a later not-so-important one, potentially? Mm, if someone fails it, you can have someone else try it again. But they won't be able to do a, another one later on. Yeah, you'll be giving up another one of them. What? I have two hero points, so... Yeah, I let's have Dysthesia do... do the first one. I'll do, I'm the only one with, this is the only check I have a positive number in, so I will do it. Um, for some reason, this should lead the way. This is Rich girl, awful find idea. the place to sleep. <laughs> Standing atop the crab, he looks for safe passage. Oh! Oh! You Success. nailed it. You... That's pretty good. Wow. Yeah. So, Destitia is actually remarkably good at this. <laughs> it's very strange. And she she is uh, likely as surprised as anyone, but she keeps finding places like, oh, here's like a uh, here's like a bed of like soft fungus in like a small hollow <laughs> with uh, She's just really lucky. She keeps finding here's here's like a little like cave inside a tree and like, she has, like, a method that she thinks she's using to, like, follow, but every one of these situations, like, people who are maybe a little bit more savvy with the wilderness, they're like, oh, this is this is surely dangerous. There's surely some, like, competing beast here. There's some local peril. But, like, she just keeps stumbling into these little oases of, um, like safety and comfort in the jungle. So for, she trips over a root. Uh, thud. That's it. I'm not going any farther. That's the oasis for the night. It's, uh... It's almost as if she is being guided in some way, though. She feels yeah, very sure. lost. Yeah. Whips and killed her. Left or right? Oh. Hey, that works. Where'd the killed her go. <laughs> looks like the trees. Huh. All right, this way. But, so that one is set. Then, what about the rest of you? Uh, the next check, that one was had a athletics in it, right? That one was survival or perception. That uh, the and, one that Estisha did was survival or perception. There's survival yeah. or athletics to avoid being fatigued. I think Crom will do that one. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. Yep. He roll athletics. Go for it. Oh. I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I saw it coming! Dice. <laughs> I knew it! You got a hero point. Uh, yeah, you do have a death. <laughs> you might roll a two if you use it. 
I would probably roll it too when I use it. <laughs> uh, uh. What? What's the bad thing about this one again? Is that we won't be rested? Uh, you'll be fatigued, which is like a minus one penalty to a bunch of random stuff. Uh, I'll choose a hero point to However, re-roll someone it. Else, again, someone else can try this if you fail, if they sacrifice one of the other things. Well, we may as well see if the hero point pulls it through first. Want me to pull your slack, Crom? <laughs> I'm going to try re-rolling it. There we go. In fact, it's a critical success, Yay. which uh, doesn't do anything. I didn't write down a result for succeeding <laughs> at any of these. Um, but it is a critical success, as so far as that matters. Crom, Crom is a trailblazer. He is moving largely at the front of the party, sort of whacking his way through, hacking his way through. He's using athletics rather than survival, so he's frequently just, like, carving through root and vine. Um, he's spending a lot of evenings, like, with a uh, whetstone, like, repairing his weapon from how much bushwhacking he's doing with it. Um, but he does clear a path, and... And where things are a little bit too difficult to navigate, like, oh, here's, like, a cliff that's too high. To, or, like, here's, like, a, a cliff face or, like, a tangle of roots that's too difficult to climb. Crom is the one who will, like, haul up Bayleaf and uh, try to affix the ropes in the right place so the crab can climb up. There's one moment, one day, as you're traveling, where disaster very nearly strikes and some ropes snap and like your full cargo very nearly just like spills off into some swamp water and like ruins all your rations but Krom is able to like grab the netting and secure it for long enough for everything to be retied he uh he leads the way and you have avoided... Promise, the hero. Now, there is the check to avoid hazards, which can be survival or nature. And there is the check to avoid uh, getting ambushed by anything, which is stealth. That's, uh, that's stealth all the way through this, huh? I, I feel like the stealth check is more important. So try that first. Let's use a hero point there. Wow! Well, time for me to pick up on that. <laughs> All right. Because, as a matter of fact, the robot is better at stealth than at survival. Why? Why? Why is it better at stealth? <laughs> I don't know. It's huge. Well, I mean, it surprised <laughs> us, so... <laughs> He's coming out of nowhere. It's always nice in a game system where you're shown up by someone else's companion animal. <laughs> oh, God. SCP-8093, unexpected mechanical lobster. Yeah. But yes, you succeed. The, uh, with the help of... No, I, I refuse. I refuse. I'm going to yell to this guy. I want to... <laughs> this, is a, this is not reasonable. What the hell? <laughs> Bayleaf betrays the fact to the rest of the party that despite being a native of Cartoon, <laughs> she is also a city girl. <laughs> she, uh, however, Stealthing does along, this... screams when she gets something weird brushing against her. Yeah, it's like very much a uh, interesting experience. It's, uh, she is hopping along, bouncing along, trying to make her way. Uh, once or twice, she may or may not accidentally, like, discharge her weapon in a panic at something that is a small and relatively harmless. I, I'm just canonizing it now. She is terrified of large fluttering insects being anywhere near her now. 
Uh, <laughs> oh dear. However, um, Maker is able to step in and uh, you fix a failed self. <laughs> to fix a failed self. Well, it's about um. The answer is simple. It's the about scouting. Just... The answer is simple. The lobster just picks her up, just picks Bayleaf up and gaggles her. <laughs> <laughs> and gags her head, I'm sorry. Uh, that's so threatening. This lobster <laughs> is a menace to society and all, all people within it. However, because uh, you've spread your efforts a little bit, you are each going to be exposed to a hazard, so I want everyone to roll a d6. Uh, oh, why is it telling me roll safe for just a non numerical self expression? Uh, yeah. Is this not use heard... slash roll? Wait, why is it that all of these are crab friend? Are you selecting? What? Uh, yeah, we have, we, uh, we have, uh, 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 we have, uh, we have, <laughs> we have oh. select. Ah, oops, have, whoops. We have Conceramico Celeb. How do I unset crab help? Uh, you create like a glut drag box anywhere else. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try that again. I still cannot do RD6. Flash R? Yeah, slash RD6. Put in 1D6. Oh, that works. Okay, yep. so Crom and Distisha, you are enfeebled one oh, for the duration oh, of your journey. No, wait, no, journey. that's bad. Uh, Bayleaf, you are drained one. And Maker, you are wounded one. Ooh. What does that do? It means you have... that you have one fewer death saving throw of leeway. Oh, God. Again. As you make your way through poisons and thorns and it benights your party with various lasting toxins, unlike the normal versions of these conditions, these will not fade until you finish your hike through the forest and rest at the Tomb of Nessus. Mm -hmm. um, even with the like mid-journey long rest that you earned with Distisha's roll. Um, that being said, several days into your journey, you encounter your first, uh, your first bit of wildlife that isn't just, shall we say, uh, Ooh, passive. Pretty. Yes, using uh, forest battle maps means I can use a few of these professional ones rather than needing to cobble them together myself. But you travel along the forest floor. Bayleaf is kind of bouncing around. She is avoiding the fluttering insects. Uh, lobster, please. Well, lobster is scouting. Bayleaf Ow. is avoiding the fluttering insects and mosquitoes, and she's doing a pretty good job of that. Until such time as you notice a rather a rather harsher, deeper droning sound from some of the trees, you notice some bugs that are large, even by local standards, not just, not just like, oh, this, this is like a dragonfly the size of my arm, but this is truly a bug that's like as big as a human is. This was a bad time to choose a phobia of fluttering insects. I'm leaving. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
There are rustlings from the boughs overhead as you see a number of menacing looking creatures, elongated bodies, long tails with a lengthy knife-like stinger at the end, and gangly, grasping claws on the front that sort of like dangle down a good like two feet. They're almost like the length of your arm um, from the torso of this, or the thorax of this creature. Just shimmering diaphanous colorful wings as it kind of like flits and flutters and circles around with intent. Let us bring in, bring in the party never brings in Maker's Construct. Yeah, that's okay. why, I, that's why, I, that's why they ask him. I have an intent to leave. <laughs> And because you've gotten the perception, you do notice there is something moving under the ground as well that there's some sort of like burrowing creature nearby to be wary of. Though you can't quite see it yet. It may be waiting until you're distracted to strike. I thought you said this glade was safe. I didn't say this glade was safe. It was the next glaive over! Next glaive? I said glade. I said glade. You said glaive. I totally said glade. I believe you. Thank you. The All right, and there is a button to roll everyone's initiative. Oh, I've got a question. What is our proficiency bonus at this level? Uh, I mean, proficiency bonus is just your level plus a modifier, depending on the level of training. Yeah. Proficiency bonus is level, and then I think, is trained plus two on top of it, or is trained just level? No, trained is plus two. Trained is okay. plus two, and then like each level of training above that is an additional plus two. Yeah. Okie dokie. I, I don't think it would make any difference. In, okay. Um, I had to remember I have assurance and stealth, so I rolled a minimum of a 10 plus proficiency bonus. Um, But that would only be 14. All right. So the first thing here is this canopy hawk fly. Yeah, one of the one of the hawk flies hasn't been rolled. Oh, has it not been? Um... There's, there's, there are only two by the looks of it. Uh, one might be stealth to us, unless we didn't see it roll initiative. I think that might be uh, it, right? Here, here we go, here we go. It rolled very well, apparently. Great job! Oh, no. It was going to act. It was going to act at some point, regardless. Thanks, Maker. Listen, when you think about it like that, initiative <laughs> is uh, immaterial. <laughs> Everyone initiative gets to go. Is... <laughs> Look, if you just wait your turn. Um, famously. So, the uh, hawkfly is going. To, it has movement of, goodness, 60. So it uses swoop to move up to its speed. 5, 10, wait, is there a way to do measurements? Yes. There's a ruler. Don't attack me, I'm inorganic. You're also the closest thing that isn't large. It swoops down at Maker and it makes a stinger attack. Attracted to the color orange. Is oh, that a hit? 
I don't I, remember. Maker I think has it, a quite an AC. It's, so. it's, uh, it's an exact hit. All right. Um, Haven't had the chance to raise shield. And then it will use its third action to grab. Which automatically succeeds because of this thing. It slams its stinger in to kind of latch on. And then it wraps its uh, talons around you. And it deals eight piercing damage. Thankfully, it does not seem to be poisonous. Oh, oh no. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of here. Shoo! It, it will not shoo. It too will swoop. <laughs> and make a stinger attack. Oh. That hits. Ow! That's how we died to bees. Technically, those are hawk flies. Bosh bees. Yeah. Don't you start the lava conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that when a bee is above ground, it's actually magma? Yes, so it will grab Destitia as well with its third and final action. And then the time has come for Bayleaf. No okay, aficionado um, of bees. As yes. part of my initiative role, I get to draw my weapon free, so I've done that. Um, you see that fly on top of that there, Destitia? Um, boop. I'm going to hope to God that these things do not have attack of opportunity. Uh, <laughs> well, it's got its hands full. It, they, they are grappling. Yeah. Um, Is there a penalty for being for grappling? Uh, not really. No. I don't think. Uh, there is. Not really. I um I will take a shot from where I am because I'm pretty sure Maker's not obscuring this thing because grapple makes no sense in any game. Um. I will shoot this monstrosity. Ew. A sharp shot. That uh, is a hit. It's not quite a crit. It's not a crit. Damn. Eight points of damage. Then I am going to spadunk, dunk, dunk over behind this tree. And I am going to use Covered Reload, um, so I am going to do a Hide action, uh, which is DM roll size, I believe, in this uh, system. I don't know if I'm hidden or not. Um, interesting. What is your modifier? Uh, it's a stealth roll, so it's a plus 10. Cool. Interesting. Okay. Carry I, on. I have reloaded. That is my turn. <laughs> and then Crom. Okay. First action, Crom is going to just step up here. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna um would a tripping attack help in this at all or just should i smack the thing off its astisia it's grabbing me i think a trip attack would break grapple by force movement right yeah it would okay then he's going to knock down which he's going to make an attack dude he crom grim We'll knock them down. Twenty-six. 
Yes, that is a success. Okay. And then that will deal damage. Mighty. And then I can do a trip. So I roll athletics. Is this versus armor class? Uh, or is this? I think it's versus reflex save DC. It's the rip. Yeah, it's against the reflex DC. Okay, that is just like 10 plus the reflex save, right? So that is a failure. These things have quite high reflexes. Ah. Okay, then that will be it for me. Okay. Next up is Maker. One moment, I check, I'm checking how the escape action works. Okay, I can try to escape with my unarmed attack, which is surprisingly not completely terrible. Especially because technically I have a range to do unarmed attack. <laughs> so let's first try. Uh... Yeah, uh, first things first, Maker is going to try to escape with an unarmed attack. This is the row against some DC, which probably fails. Disregard the numbers, the, the characteristics of the attack. It, this is not an attack. Hello. Uh, one sec. This is an escape attempt. It's an escape attempt versus flat. That's a flat DC, so you succeed. You escape. Ah, okay. Then Maker is going to use his second action to raise a shield. Wait a second. That's uh, that's an eight. If you attempt to escape, I'm double reading this rule. It wouldn't be a session involving creatures that can grab if someone didn't have to reread the grapple rules. Um, attempt to check using your unarmed against the DC. Uh, the athletics plus 12, 22. Um, athletics DC. You actually do not quite get free, it seems eh, like. Reasonable. Uh, so, still going to raise a shield and going to give my actions to, and going to give two actions to my construct so it can um, bonk. Bonk. That How's that is, hit? That is a very narrow miss. Oh, uh, goddammit. Uh, Unless you uh, are flanking. Do you want uh, that's to... not yeah, flanking, you're not is flanking. it? Yeah, I, I'm not flanking currently. And for the second attempt, I guess I'm going to... I'm going to try to do an athletic... I'm going to have it to do an athletics check to try to push it up. Go for it. I think that... I think that involves a penalty. Does using an agile weapon reduce the penalty? Using an, an agile, agile weapon? An agile uh, not, weapon. F not for a shove, right? Yeah. It's just for an attack. Yeah, because you don't shove with the weapon. Uh, fair enough. Shoving someone with a dagger is just stabbing them. <laughs> uh, 
Can this shove it? Against reflex DC, no. Uh. Uh, that's all my actions. At least uh -huh. I, I've raised the shield. So I just double checked. I do get my trained uh, bonus in it as well. So, uh, Emmeline, just because you know what I rolled, I can't roll Bullying for 16. All right. Um, you cannot roll beneath the 16 on... Stealth. Stealth. Okay, good to know. Yeah. In that case... Justitia, you're up. And All right. being grabbed by a giant bug. I hate this! All right. Um, I am going to... I can... Pretty much the only things I have... I'm afflicted with are immobilized and flat-footed, right? Correct. That's what grappling does? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. All right. So I am going to... Also using object manipulations as a chance to fail, I believe. Yeah. Yes. We have to succeed on a flat check to see five. But a spell strike is not a manipulation. Correct. Correct. You can do that. She is going to use distracting spell strike. So, oh, wait, no, she can't because she'd be an arcane cascade before she can do a spell strike. Uh, hey, she doesn't need to move to get where she's going. Yeah, uh, I can't spell strike this turn. Okay. Um, We're going to... Let me just check... He is going to use the bell, uh, use the cantrip gouging claw, which is Go for touch it. attack for slapping damage. Roll it. It's a crit. Oh. It's Excellent. The... Claw is law. No claw, flaw in claw. And right. I believe um, that Did this that roll gets... as I think that rolled two dice rather than we'll just use the first yeah. dice. Well the it's two D six. The it, Oh the because... damage is two D six? Yeah, because it's where it's a um, cantrip and cantrips automatically level to your uh, oh, are okay. automatically high. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so it rolled its base damage and you'd have to hit double to take it from that. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, did I miss? Yeah, just hit yes. double. So is it 20? You deal 20 damage to this thing. Okay, and now it is bleeding as well. Mm -hmm. Only as... four persistent yep. damage. And then I go wow. into Arcane Cascade. 2d4 harder. Because the blade also scales. Oh, yeah. I need to find... Here it is. Persistent damage. 2d4. Um, does the critical, critical success give more bleed damage? Yes. Oh, no, critical yeah. yeah. The critical uh, success is where you get the bleed damage. Gotcha. Right. So the bleed damage is 2d4. Thank you, Draken. And the DC mm -hmm. for this um, damage is... What is your spell DC? 19. Uh, persistent damage is just a flat check. Oh. Oh, yeah. Which is 15, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. 15. Unless, yeah, feet. Okay. Good damage. Hooray! Hooray! It buzzes angrily as Destitia cleaves into it with a transmuted claw. She just uh, comes up and kicks it with one of her blade legs. Ah. Magically enhanced. Get off of me! So, 
what um what else do you do that was it i'm going to arcane cascade as my final action and all right that leaves the last one of these which will swoop down and it will attack Krom. For 14 piercing. Ouch. And it will also grab him. Brings back around to this one. Uh, it looks like those the rows for that one are in secret. Oh, are they? It yeah, deals, yeah. It deals for damage. Okay. So it hit 22? It hit 20. Yeah, it was a 27 and then 14. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I? Oh, I can. I can reveal. And I can reveal. There we go. And then, um, following that, we have the one that is Grappling Maker, which will proceed to use Clutch to free up its Stinger as it transfers Maker to its lower legs. And then... it will use... Snatch. Uh, to make a you, have to make, you, have, you have to make an athletics check. Yes. So... Clutch. Athletics, here we go. Does that succeed? Success by people? one. By one. And I have then a bad it will reference. snatch, and it will fly 30 feet straight up. Ooh. Oh, my. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> um. Yeah, then it will I can't do. Then it will try to sting, okay? Uh, I'm going. I'm going to use a reaction to block that, reducing the damage by five, thirteen, and take thirteen damage to the shield. All right. Okay. Which breaks my shield? <laughs> Maker is frantically fending off the stabbing stinger as it just like punches holes in his shield like reducing it to swiss cheese basically just slam 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 thunk 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 meanwhile this other one attempts to do much the same to Distitia. it will attempt to clutch however this one i think fails that has to be what the um, yeah uh, reflex reflex this t which is just yes. ten plus your reflex yes mine is nineteen. So Aha! It cannot snatch her away, so it will content itself with stabbing with its stinger. No, <laughs> no. Creating... No, no. Anyway, that's how everybody died. Beast. That'll be eighteen damage. Everyone uh, has been telling you the the monsters, they're frightening. People 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 are careful following these trails for a reason. And then, it will attempt again. Uh, 
No. Stop it. Uh. Ow! <laughs> sting, 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 sting. Oh, I've got seven HP. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it also takes uh, five damage from bleed. Yeah, and you need to make a the flat check. Yep. It keeps you bleeding. It does, in fact, keep bleeding. Um, oh. You don't automatically check for persistent damage. It, it's um. Oh, it's very much... only when someone tries to heal it. Yeah, you. Or after like you a have minute, to take... I think. Yeah, it lasts oh, a minute. It? Yeah, it lasts a yeah. minute unless you take two action doing something that could re reasonably improve your chances, and then you make a DC 15 flat check. Gotcha. Huh. It says here that you just make the flat check after you take persistent damage. Oh, does it say that on the spell? No, it says on persistent bleed damage, on persistent damage itself. I think you can, I think both are true. I think you can like, you. it does a chance it naturally fades, but oh, okay, you can, okay, you can I take see the that action now. to hastily wear it off. Okay, I see what you said, Draken. You are, you are indeed correct. Yeah. However, it does not succeed mistake. here. Which means uh, it's Bayleaf's turn. Question, did uh, Chrom hit the one assaulting this this year? Yes, I did. did it's uh, it's bloodied. Okay, um, Bayleaf, uh, this is a stump I'm behind, right? I'm assuming, yes, but if I did, doesn't actually go. Cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I was hidden or not, so um, I will now reveal myself. Do I get the flat-footed penalty against the... Yes, you do. Cool. Um, she is going to stand up, uh, yell, get down, big boy, as I'm taking advantage of Com not acting as cover against enemies for me. Um, Rom wrestles she... with the <laughs> and just falls yeah. over to the side. Don't ask me how it works. Uh, uh, and she Crumb is going jumps. to <laughs> she is going to do a uh, assisting shot against the one attacking uh, this year. Okay, go. For it. Uh, strike fifteen uh, plus two circumstance bonus for it being flat footed, and then one from. I'm having hit it. So oh, that's a free. It's there a we crit. go. That's a hell of a crit. Ooh. Blow it away. Uh, critical. I hit the critical button, right? Yes, you just hit the critical button. It's obliterated. God. Just absolutely. Blam. This, this there, there is... was a bug. There is now a pair of like daphnis wings sort of like fluttering down to the ground as like the main body of this creature it has been reduced to like a greenish smear of goop like how over this good... issue well, <laughs> not at that angle it's more like this whole this whole part of the battlefield over here just <laughs> a long line of bug uh, guts so half of this this year Yes, half of this. And, and um, she still, I, this dude has to like peel off the like the, the leg. legs that don't have any body attached to them now, but are still kind of clutching at her. And then I'll uh, I'll, I'll do another covered reload. So another self check for me, please. Okay. And that is, I can wait. I can just click on her token, and I can get this. I can get proficiencies. Okay, no uh, that That dice was private. Yeah, it's supposed, yeah to be. it's supposed to be private. Ah, okay. I find you it doesn't let you know how well you're doing on stealth. Fair enough. Okay. Then, Krom, you're up. Okay. So... I'm wrestling with this thing. I was enfeebled, right? Yeah. You are enfeebled, yes. Okay, and that lowers strength stuff? Yep. By one. Disgusting. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Am I able to uh, use a two-handed weapon when grappled? Yes. Uh, You're also not grappled. I don't, oh, you are grappled, but it can't uh, clutch you. I don't believe you're too big. It can't fly off with Krom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hope not. That being said, it... Uh, yes. You can use a two-handed weapon just fine. You couldn't draw okay. a new weapon. You'd have to make a flat check for that. Yeah. So... It does it does penalize your... The Enfeeble does penalize your hit rolls. It does, yeah. Yes. So, I think Krom is going to attempt to break out mm -hmm. of the grapple yep. first. <sighs> and that's a uh, counter-athletics, correct? Yep. That's a success. You break free of the grapple. Okay, now I'm going to follow that up with a trip strike. Go for it. You do? Where are you? First attack! Narrow miss. Ugh. By one. By, of course. Enfeebled. Okay. Then that'll be it for Krom. This is it for you. Maker. Uh, okay. How do I do this? I'm 30 feet up. I'm going to take 15 foul damage. <laughs> if I escape. <laughs> But literally, this only only bailiff can even do anything to this thing. Yeah, I have what? to try to escape again. Well, I can do something. I, I just hit it with magic. If well, what yeah, you're I'm, falling, I'm your crab. I'm going to take the foul damage regardless. Is what I mean. Your crab doesn't have a cannon installed in it or anything. No deployable like bouncy pad to catch you or or what? It no. doesn't have a skill for this. <laughs> You can't just teleport into the air and grab you? What does... <laughs> you Where's my crab can stop time for six seconds. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm just going to have to take this fall, I guess. So... Let me just check again. How... A... There is a better check to try to escape. Typically an athletics check. Fevery. I'm going to have to try to use my unarmored attack again. Please roll better. Okay, that's a crit. Yes, that's a crit. You, uh, you break free. Uh, does, does this success on the break free check, or crit on the break free do anything? Let me double check. Grab Not that I'm aware. It means, I, it means I can... It means I can stride five feet, which reduces the damage I take by one, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can stride in the air. Yeah, I don't right? think you can stride in the air. Uh, fair enough. Uh, I'll say, you know, I'll say that it lets you land on your feet, so you land not prone. You do still take the fall damage, though. <laughs> Ankles uh, of steel. Anyway, uh, before I fall, I guess I'm going to have... Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to take the damage. Uh, Just raise shield before he hits the ground. I was, I shield. my it's shield broken. is broken. It will, oh. it would, it, I could, I could do it, but it would be destroyed. I think. I, I was thinking of casting shield to, to do it. Um. So fall damage is the number of feet fallen minus five. It's no. It's half the. It's half the. the it's yeah, half, half the, the distance you up, fell. So. so it's thirty feet. Yeah. Um, so it's fifteen, 15 damage. Fifteen damage. All right. Oh. Big oof. And Maker does the land in a roll, get to his feet with that critical success. And then I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast a ray of frost. 
Mm, no, no, I'm not going to cast Ray of Frost. I'm going to make another attack. I'm, a I'm going to make an actual attack at it with my energy beam. Go for it. Which, which sadly, it's on my second. Uh, yeah, okay, that misses. And with my final action, I'm going to let my construct uh, smack that the bee that's close by. The one that's by Krom? Yeah. That's a crit. It's a powerful crit. And a bite. That is not nice. Yeah. <sighs> okay, that's all my actions. Distisha. All right. I'm going to chug this elixir of minor life here. Is that two actions to pull out and then drink? I believe it is. Okay. Um. All right. I, that's that's what I'm gonna do because I got seven HP. Do you think? Let's see, that's just. Oh, it's eating crom right now. I think I can risk hitting it, right? There's something burrowing underneath the ground. That's not my problem, right? Well, right. In, an, in an idea world, it is the opposite of the bees and goes for something large. So, I think I'm going to use the elixir of life. Use two actions, one to draw, one to use. Get six HP. And then cast shield on myself. Okay. As you do. Patch up a little bit. Self-care. Alright, is that all? Is that all? Oh yeah, sorry. This hawkfly is going to furiously attempt to sting Uh, Krom. Starting with this. Miss. And then it is going to use Swoop in order to sting again. That hits. For 8 damage. Sure. And Do 8 damage to the tank! Then it'll attempt to get away. I um, do you have an attacker opportunity? I do. Go for it. Um, is this hit with the, uh, um, with the uh, multiple attacks? No. Okay. Uh, it's... You do not take max penalty. However, you do take the roll of three penalty, unfortunately. So, it's not a hit. And it flies away and it buzzes back up to its 30 foot cruising altitude. Get back down here, you coward! This one does decide to get back down here. Takes your words personally. Swoops back down to ground level. Attempts to sting Maker once again. Ah, uh, that's a hit because I didn't put up my shield. Ah. What has four hit points and is very angry? The crab? The crab actually has like. Plus four level wizards. <laughs> well, then, I am a multi class wizard, so. Then it will attempt to clutch. It's angry. That its drop did not do the trick. That's a critical success. And it grabs on, and Maker is in its legs once again. <laughs> and then the dead one has no turn. Bayleaf. Bayleaf. Uh, question: Are they flat-footed to me? <laughs> yes, they are. 
Okay, cool. Relief is going to uh, do a assisting shot because there's no point in me not doing that. Um, I get one that's flying away from Crom. Nobody hits the fluffy boy. Uh, plus two circumstance and roll. Ooh, that's uh, bad for me. Yeah, that's like a jam with a firearm, isn't it? That is. It's easy enough to clear, but uh, that is bad. Uh, in that case, I will spend my second action clearing it, because I've got to do that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I am going to do a... Yeah, we'll do a risky reload. Um, yeah. Right. Firing again. Five, please. No, that's a miss. Yeah, it's a miss. Not a critical miss, though. Okay. All right. Okay. That is my turn. And Krom, it's your turn. Hmm. I may be tall, but I'm not 30 feet tall. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help me, you fluffy imbecile. Um. Sure. Yeah, I'll go help. One. I can't fly, you fools. <laughs> Three. I should have picked up a halberd when I was. I'm going to attack this thing. The classic story of all characters should have ranged weapons. <laughs> and uh, oh, does such charge? No, probably. I'm just going to uh see. I will once again do knockdown strike because it worked so well so far. Go for it. Or I should just attack it twice. I think we're just going to attack it twice. That is so, a pretty high reflex save. So, first roll. Hits. And damage. Solid. Followed by Second hit. Uh, let's see. How do I get it to track map? Uh, say right next to it. It's right next to your attacks, brother. If you go to actions on yeah. your bar. I have great sword. And... Yeah, and then right next to it. Oh, it's down here? No. No, go go to your, your cheat. Yeah. Now scroll up to your great sword. Yeah, great sword. And then that, look right next to it. Map minus. Do I have to? Oh, that's why it has to say. Okay. Wow, Damn. it's a crit. Okay. Damage is not great. Not so solid. But it is now flat-footed. Because of critical specialization. Very good. And it takes the damage. The D12 betrays sometimes. The weapon of barbarians. And with you did that, one more damage than your regular attack on that crit. But that is Krom's turn. Yes. Oh, it's my turn. Yes. No, it is not. It oh. is. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Chase Mud Lizard uses death from below. It strides, burrowing, 
I don't like this box. <laughs> I, I'm not seeing any box. I see a I... box. Oh. Oh. I'm in danger. <laughs> and then it erupts in a hail of mud and splintered roots. It ends a stride adjacent to other creatures. The sudden burst of earth and wood chips th uh, frightens and overwhelms. I need a will save from everyone adjacent to it. Tell me, DM to DM, that's got to be satisfying that positioning, right? I am <laughs> <laughs> uh, not rolling well. Maker is afraid. <laughs> you rolled two crits. You've used your luck for today. Does the robot have to uh, roll? Okay. Uh, what kind of... Does this have any... Uh, this thing is not in fear for some reason. Yeah. Robots can no fear. Or not. not Why did does, I... Not only does the construct companion, is it susceptible to mind-altering effects, there's even that one feat specifically to like snap your... Robot yep. out of mind control, which has the but, best name uh, of any feat. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't take it because this thing has better saves than Maker. <laughs> but then you can't shout, no, no, I created you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, the only failure is Maker, who is frightened too. Uh, and then why did the frightened make the sound like? Oh no. He's just going to lock up. Why? <laughs> Why did I program fear into me? If uh, uh -huh. if you want to know what like a frightened maker looks like, just look at any like Zaku. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the eye darting around. Sense that uh, deaf and doom and fascinated and feeble, dying, not yet, chigged, flat-footed, fleeing, frightened. But Ooh. then. It is, in fact, going to go for the largest thing. It's going to strike with its jaws at Krom. Oh, you fool, we have you surrounded. And right where... Misses. I have... Bra I have bravery. Whenever I have to roll against fear, I get a critical success instead. When I roll nice. a success. Nice. I don't think there's a critical success like effect on this ability, but... You do succeed. And that is the giant mud lizard's turn. Maker. Maker was afraid. Uh, we should check what Frighten actually does. See how this thing. Oh, shacks and this is. At the end of each turn. Ah. Maker is going to raise his shield and give all of his action. Well, not raise shield. He's going to cast shield. His his actual shield is broken. All right. So, uh, first action, attacking the the bee because this thing is going to kill me. Uh, I'm 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 going to reroll that with my hero point. Go for it. Uh, still in it is flat foot. It, it oh, is flat footed, footed because of Chrome. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Because okay. Of yeah, that hits. <sighs> for eight. And then it ha it has two more attacks. I guess I'm just going to spam attempts to kill it. That hits. Uh, I think thanks to flat foot. Yep, that's a miss. Uh, shields up. Someone please kill this thing before it kills me. By flying up. This <laughs> Tisha. Let me think. Let me... Um... Can... Can Maker get down? Uh, you're fighting through Maker and another enemy. I um, think it will have even lesser or normal cover, right? Um, Not if it's a 30-foot line spell, right? 
Maker can't move. Uh, Maker has no uh, health. How do I save him? Uh, well, he can't see Maker's problems because there's a big mud lizard in front of her. Let's see. You can probably hear Maker's problems. See. Maker's problems predate the arrival of the mud lizard. Get this godless bee away from me. Uh, if it's no, godless, can no we way. hear it? The bee is godful. No. That's the problem. <laughs> yes, actually, Maker would not. Maker would not actually say godless. He would probably <laughs> damn it as God's damned. <laughs> I'm. I mean, then you and the bee would have some sort of relationship. <laughs> How Get do you... this Nessus blessed bee away from me. <laughs> Where is the... What was the com button combination for cones? Uh, mm. Measurement controls. Contemplate is the second option. Yeah. Oh, there. Okay. No, that Did... won't work. Actually, I have to ask now. Did the bee drop back down to ground level or is it like this bee flying? is at ground level this bee is flying they should have little markers above yeah them, once that's so. yeah. free up i was going to ask if it flew all the way down or if it just like floated above me they fly down well, to I... ground level because they sort of have to line their body up with yours to clamp clasp onto it yeah fair enough all Go right ahead, I'm... Grab. I'm going to hit this thing in front of me because that has my attention. I'm going to have to trust Chrome to do an attack, an attack of opportunity, I guess. Oh, oh, I got an idea. I got an even better idea. I'm going to... 30 um, foot wide. I'm going to use a spell strike on the lizard. Utilizing um... Level 2 Shock and Grasp. All right. So going for the swing. Yep. And it's flat-footed because I have... Flanking. And other So things. I don't need to use the distracting. It can't get any more flat-footed. Mm -hmm. And... Right? Yes. Yes, that's a hit. All right. Is it not so a crit? It is not a crit. Oh okay. So, let's see. How do I roll? It is... We roll the damage for that. And then we roll the spell. Spell, spell, spell. Oh, wait. This... Right here, this extra piercing, that's from my um, stance, mm -hmm. and that should be a higher number. I don't know why it's not activating a higher number. How much more should it be? I am looking right now. I think it's, it should be three in total instead of okay. one. Gotcha. It probably isn't reading your weapon as being the correct type. Yeah. Or, well, I was having a hard time activating Arcane Cascade, so I might need to mess around with the actual Arcane mm -hmm. thing. And, uh, laughing. I've gone that. ahead and marked the extra damage. Okay. And now the spell, spell which has hit. So I just do. This should be. It doesn't have to hit, you said? Yeah, it's already hit. It's yeah. it hit with the... um. Right. So it does... 10 damage? Yeah. Fortunately, this thing is not a Pokemon. Being covered in mud does not give it... Insight hit somehow? Electricity. <laughs> it does not have resist electricity, though... It would have been cool if I'd given it that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, reconning it, it's got to resist. <laughs> we're already faring poorly enough, I think. Yeah. 
I don't know, I'm pretty good. If Speak for yourself. It doesn't have any metal on it, right? It doesn't, no. Then it the mud does not make it more conductive to electricity. Do not push your luck. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's one D the one D four persistent electricity is only for when it has metal on it, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. I believe so. All right, then my final action. I'm going to cast Dimensional Assault, mm -hmm. which allows me to teleport over here and attack the bug. Yep. You do have a okay. two map penalty, right? Yes. But it's better than him dying, I think. Well, I give Krom more ability to hit, at least. Serene. Here we go. Nope. Good try. But it oh. at least recharges my spell strike. I also had to point out, you're not going to be able to flank for that. Because if it's trying to leave Crom's reach, Crom's a large creature. Which means it's got to go 15 feet above and then move into a 20 foot I'm, uh, reach I'm, to a break. I'm not considered Crom does not large. have uh, extra reach. Crom does not have yeah. extra reach. No, no, no. It's not about oh, reach. Yeah. It's about he's, token he's size. Oh. He is a cube. Oh. That being he said, is five feet say, taller than us. I will say that uh, it counts as flanking still. <laughs> uh, so Alright, that's my turn. Does attempt. Oh, no. 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 The, the last self check was not a success. I didn't have a last self check. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I was thinking in my head she's not stealthed. <laughs> it sees a target that is not in the middle of this fracas. And Um let will be a hit. And then it grabs. That's what? Deals 12 damage. What if I want it not to? <laughs> okay. If she didn't have a phobia of fluttering insects before, 26. this is definitely not going to help. And then this one, which desperately tries to get away from Krom. With Maker in its clutches. Attack of opportunity. Go for it. Once again, the life of an airborne Maker rests in someone else's hands. Oh, actually, uh, sorry. I'm going to uh, hit the dirt as a reaction. Um, my AC goes up and I go prone. Okay. This thing swoops down over you. Its stinger whistles through the air. Bayleaf just kind of like plops down into her sitting position as a servitor. <laughs> just whoosh as the stinger whistles over her head. She Does can that... hear the clatter of chitin as the legs grasp where she was a moment ago. Does that oh. hit flat-footed? Uh, not quite. Ah. I hear a point. Nope. Remember? Oh, I yeah. used it. Is this true? You did use it. Uh, Sorry, Maker! Waves uh, goodbye. It, um... Flies up to 30 feet. And it will attempt a stinger attack on Maker. That misses. It misses. Pings off his armor. Bayleaf. Okay. Um, what is it to get up in this game? Is it an action or is it half movement? What is I it? I think it's an action. It's just an action okay. to stand from prone. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, action to stand from prone. Uh, running reload. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, we'll go over here. We'll go over here. It's a shame that ground loop knows flame breath. 
Mm. Mm. I think I just turned off. That was something prone. I did. Prone. Where is prone? This is such a huge. Um. And then I will simply uh, I'll fire at this one in the melee. Yes, you do. Bang. Not actually in the melee anymore. Ah, oh, missed by two. It is oh, I was, tar- I was targeting myself, but I'm still pretty sure that misses. <laughs> uh... Wait, it's flat-footed, right? Yeah, it's flat-footed. Uh, and Chrome hit it, right? And Chrome it... hit it. So it's got a plus one from my yeah, duo exactly, exactly. with Chrome. Exactly. That's a hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to press damage on myself. That would be a bad idea. I'm just going to do it from the sheet. There you go. Three points of damage. Mm-hmm. Not quite dead. If you have anything else. No, that's all my actions. Krom. Okay. So Krom is going to attempt to do a tripping strike on the lizard. Okay. So it will be this strike why is <sighs> crumb it's not his day I'm a f- so much for the fighter accuracy <laughs> 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 if accuracy can't prevent you from rolling fours what good is it <laughs> why are we in this world just to roll then- fours Krom is going to hold his action so he can attempt to grab Maker if he's released and falls to the ground. Okay. That will be his turn. All right. The giant mud lizard is going to attempt to munch on crumb it misses it hits for 12 and then it is going to slap with its tail which is agile but that is not enough to save it from rolling at you. So, that is the lizard's turn. Maker, it is your turn. Uh, how much damage did we do to this thing already? Quite no a bit. idea. You have dealt a total of, allow me to check, 48 damage to it. Wait, we don't have the feats to notice. <laughs> There's a feat for that? Yeah, you know weirdly. The... It's not like it's like players can't count damage, right? <laughs> Wind. Yeah, I just assume that players can count damage, so it's public information. Uh, Maker is going to give the robot two actions, and then he's going to cast a Ray of Frost in melee. Oh. Okay. I have Err. Ah, that's a miss, and that's I think this thing, everything he can do. Then this is going to move here and bonk. It doesn't have a ranged attack most of the party, as is the case with. Okay, these are some dice, fours and twos, consistently. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Uh, that's not a hit. Yeah. Anything Third. else? Nope. Distichia. Okay, let's see. Let's try and save the day. Um. You can teleport strike upwards if you want to, but you will fall. <laughs> <laughs> we are not doing that. I'm a mage. I have 
a multitude of spells. But it would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bayleaf just shoots Maker out of the air like a clay pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Pull! Uh, uh, I will... Oh, hey. Maker's not in the way anymore. I can color spray the mud lizard. You can do. Yes. But I feel like I should help Maker. <laughs> He's going to fall and get hurt any, either way. So. Well, yeah. Calm has an action to catch him. The, the, the real worry is that this thing flies away with me. <laughs> <laughs> we... I kind of want to see it happen, though. You know. All right, let's use i think really all i can really use is right no wait is phase bolt a better spell for this uh, no it doesn't have it do, isn't blocking so phase bolt isn't good and i said i have a oh, oh. i have force bolt i can't miss also i hate to break it to you guys but catching catching something is actually a uh, ability you gotta get what is it? Reflective what? catch. Reflective. But I have an action ready. Let me check. I don't think Pathfinder does ready actions, does it? It does. Does, does it? Yeah. Um... There's... Flex. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's to grab an item, throw at you, and it's as a reaction. Yeah, there's an entire weapon uh, keyword for brace, where you, when you ready in action, you get more damage. Oh yeah, you can ready in action. I thought Pathfinder only had the uh, move initiative thing. Right. I'll say that because this is like the the catch an item, it lets you do it as like a just reaction. I'll say that because this is a proper ready to action. Yeah. I'll allow it. Okay. That seems I think I'm going to use. Me. I think I'm going to use a focus spell, force bolt, to try and hit this thing because I can't miss it. Okay. So force bolt. Eh. You hit it. It's not dead. Well, it's... I tried. <laughs> Does so... two damage. I tried. <laughs> An attempt was made. Then I'm going to... Let's look at the ranges again. Am I within... Yes. I am going to color spray that thing. Also, that should I think that should be 2d4 plus 1 because uh, focus it's... spells also scale automatically. That you look... Oh, it's plus 2. It's heightened plus 2. Never mind. Yeah, it's plus 2, fortunately. Yeah, that would happen. So that's one extra damage still. Okay, so I'm going to color spray this. Okay. DC okay. 19. Um, there. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> how does this... I, I saw the critical success. I was like, yeah, we got it. Oh, wait. It's safe. How, how does this critical Why success? It critical it's a DC 19. Yeah, I don't. I think no, that's just an error, it. but it is a nineteen. Yeah. I don't well, know why it's... it thinks that's a critical success. Well, it's dazzled. It's dazzled. So every everyone is concealed against it, so it has a flat chance to miss. Nice. Very good. Neat. And that is my turn. All right. I know all the monsters have better saves than us.
Because Emeline is ruthless. That... Oh, no. hello. No! <laughs> yeah, there's still that thing. Shit, I was hoping it didn't actually have the movement to keep up with me. <laughs> it has 60 foot movement. <laughs> I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'm hitting the tech again. <laughs> Bailey for just screaming and throwing herself onto the floor. <laughs> How strong is this bee? Make her must weigh to like 450 pounds between Drum himself and, and his equipment. And it attempts a second attack, but it misses. Crom, help me. A quote attributed to everyone. <laughs> I'm trying, says Crom. Bailey is screaming. There are tears r running down her face. Bugs, 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 bugs. <laughs> Crom is trying to keep this lizard <laughs> off of this this year, trying to catch Baker when he falls, and now he has to go save Bailey. <laughs> Oh I, no, I, this thing is fleeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Now the question is, is it moving diagonally upwards as it's doing it? It's moving slightly diagonally upwards. <laughs> but it's focusing on horizontal movement for now. It wants to get away. It's pretty bad <laughs> And... <laughs> I like the mental image of Crom waiting beneath Maker with his arms out <laughs> and Maker just drifting off into the distance. It will still try to sting. Does that hit? I, uh, I can't that get the... does, that, does hit. that does hit. You have your it shield up. Make... I don't, and Maker is down. You, you have shield, you cast the shield. I cast the shield the previous round. Oh, okay, sorry. Maybe that's that's a problem. Zero points. I, uh, all I can see is the dull thud. That's a big problem considering he's already one down death save. <laughs> no, he has two. He has two death Yeah, you're down left. one because you're wounded. <laughs> yeah, you, you need. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is bad. Who knew that the wounded was actually going to. <laughs> Coming Come to play. <laughs> yeah. and that does mean the robot can't take the lobster can't take actions. The robot just shuts system. down mysteriously. Uh. Or does it just blink out of existence, going back to where it, it came? No one knows. No, it... <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, action to. Stand. Okay. Uh, hang on. I've accidentally targeted myself. Can turn that off. Oh, uh, measuring stick. All I can see in my head is the dull thud of Maker hitting the ground when he's finally released. <laughs> mm. Um. Oops. Uh, Ignore that. Oh no! This tissue is exploding. Uh, feet. Another thing Crown would have to worry about. <laughs> Yeah, let's do Never that. let make her lose contact with the ground. It <laughs> seems to have terrible consequences for him. Alright. Uh, uh, Bailey is going to run this way. Okay. Oh, hell. Damn it. I need a way to measure and then force it to move there. All right. Finger on screen. That's where I'm going. Yeah, and then I wish that's... there was some way to do like mo measure while moving. I really yeah. like that tool. Uh, um, I am then also going to uh, just, I'm going to run further. Um, my canter activate, so I get plus 10 movement speed now. Mm -hmm. um, my character sheet's in the way. Yeah, we'll go. Go into this tree. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> That's my turn. 
Yeah, this thing is leaving with me. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> Crumb. Ah, <laughs> uh, um. Look at the lizard. I've got, I've got maker. But what about the other bug? I figure it out. <laughs> Where's the bug? Right, right beside you. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um. Krom is going to do a trip strike again because hopefully that will work this time. Okay. On the lizard. Ooh. Mighty, it is tripped. It has fallen. Is, is that still considered flat footed with that thing, even though it's powered down? It can't take actions, but it uh, it's not otherwise uh, disabled. Um, Second question Does that make it a critical? Uh, actually, with it being flat-footed, yeah, it, that is a critical. Okay, critical. 18 damage. And then, followed by a trip. It is tripped, it is fallen. Is that a critical? Yes, that is a critical. Then it takes 1d6 damage as it hits the ground. Roll it. Bonk. All right. What else? Uh. Prom can't reach that far um, in order to catch him, so I guess he's just going uh, to follow up with a, an attack. I think the best thing he can do right now is just lay on more damage to this mud lizard so it doesn't bother people. Yeah, keeping that under control. I, so... feel, like, I feel like trying to finish off that hawk fly so it doesn't steal this t is more important. It's... Um, no, I, I think the Hulk might be the biggest threat. <laughs> uh, I can't attack it though, because that the tripping attack takes two actions. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, then yeah, uh, your only option is to keep wailing on the lizard, I guess. Unless you throw your sword. <laughs> don't don't throw your sword, Crumb. Don't have a backup hex. <laughs> if only he had a backup hex. <laughs> I knew I should have bought more weapons in this town. Uh, the foreign axe is the best thing you can have. Let's see. So yeah, he's going to smink it again. With a staggering minus 10 attack penalty. Hmm. Yes. So, the penalty didn't matter. Outplayed. Honestly. The classic fishing for the classic fishing for a 20. Well, here we go. <laughs> Mud Lizard's turn. Mud Lizard is bloodied. It's out of here. It's going to bite Crom. And miss. And he is too chewy for its taste. So it is just going. To dive back underground. It will provoke an attack of opportunity doing so though. And Crom will take up that attack of opportunity. Uh, it yeah. was flat footed. Flat footed, because... yeah. That is not enough to hit it, however. What about if it was prone? 
It's still oh, flat is flat-footed. Ah. It can't be even flatter footed. It's a lizard for crying out loud. Its feet are flat already. Uh. However, it is also just leaving. I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> yes. And then it is Maker's turn. We will need a death saving throw. Uh. I think there's a button for that. Oh, he's dead! Oh no! <laughs> oh, again! Do you Not have again? Do you have a hero point? I used it on an attack. You used the Stissy's hero point again. Uh. You have a spare hero point, right, brother? Yeah, I have one hero point. <laughs> Are you allowed uh, to give hero points to others? You're not allowed by base rules. That's up to the DM of where to cheat. I will say, if Distisha is willing to take some heroic action on behalf of Maker, I will allow him to use her hero point. I will do a heroic action. All right. Go for it. Maker, use your hero point. Uh, that's just your failure. But... This dish I guess. Alright. I'm not dead so at my, least. My heroic yeah, least action... Alright, let me see. Heroic action is... I am going to... Run... To, to here. Oh, going. Let's see. Can you? What's the rules on jumping? It. I remember ru jumping is really dangerous. Oh. Um. Jumping. Yeah, I just need to get a little bit higher. I think. No, it's. Pretty much 35 feet, that's still yeah. within 30 feet. Yeah. Cause you so have, she you is going to dimensional away. strike. Go for it. All right. So she teleports up into the air and swings at the hawk fly. She is also now 30 feet in the air, so... Button is right... Here. Please. That's a hit. Yay. And damage. Is it flat footed because it's grappling? No. No. Okay, no. so I don't do extra damage. However, you do kill it. It's down. There's Hooray! an irony here. I, <laughs> I grab Maker and go careening to towards the ground. All right. With your third action, you grab Maker. You're carrying him, so you'll take the fall damage and not him. I'll take it. So 15 damage? Yep. <laughs> oh, I, I have 13 health. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm down. Oh. <laughs> this last hawk fly Please. Its buddies are getting swatted. It doesn't want any part of this. <laughs> Bayleaf. Uh, Bayleaf, I guess, seeing that there's nothing. She's still paranoid about the lizard, but. I've had one action. Going. Could I. Oh, you Could did? I make a reflex? Wait, you move? Yeah, I moved you once. You moved, I then you teleported, then you. Picked up Maker. That was three actions, right? Oh, okay. Okay, grabbing yeah. it was the third action. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Belief. I did my fourth action. It's back mm, into the ground. Belief is going to... Uh, let's see. Forty there. Okay, I can get up to them. What is stabilization checks in this system? 
you have just, to be trained in medicine. No. Just drop a potion on us. Okay. Mm. Stabilizing is not a trained action. You can just you can just drop a potion on us to give us a hit point. <laughs> Maker has a bunch of them. Okay. Um I it's our health it... health potion vending machine. Yeah. Um out of character, I guess I will stabilize Maker first, even though I think Bailey would actually go for this issue first. <laughs> um but just to be a nice player, she'll put a potion down, make his throat. Go for it. Uh into Maker's face socket. Yeah. Just... And that's my full uh actually no, because I you have to pull them out as an action first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh I don't have enough I so I'm going to ready a potion, I guess. Mm. I don't have enough actions to interact with somebody else. You can take the action to first aid. Oh no you don't. It's two actions to first aid. <laughs> yep. You you could just free action to drop an object. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. work. So so potion is out. So I just have to succeed on another death save. Yes. Crumb. <sighs> okay, well this is two actions to get up to here. <laughs> so Crumb will be in the same boat. Um Can I just attempt to stabilize Maker? Yeah, might as well. That's uh, two actions again, isn't it? It is. Unless you have someone uh, to make it faster. Whoever <laughs> made this die rules was a sadic. <laughs> Maybe someone shouldn't be being grabbed by bees. <laughs> I I'm harmless and uh, and the uh, maker is harmless and inedible. I'm not sure why he's even being attacked. He you're a, he's a robot. He's vulnerable to bugs. No, he's it's not. True. Bug type is not good against uh, steel. <laughs> yes, but you are you have a buggy program. Mm. It's that true. was horrible. It's true. Uh, can I just uh, use a crafting check on him? <laughs> you know what? I'll let you give him like a assist with a I'll let you assist his dying roll by with a crafting check. Go assist his dying roll by plunging the great sword into him. <laughs> oh, you mean assist him Saving okay. him, okay. <laughs> so, what's the DC for getting the assistance? Um, it's normally 20, right, for uh, help rolls? Yeah. DC 20 craft. Well, you don't make it worse. <sighs> Maker. Is it, is it already the turn to do the action? It's the turn to do it. Roll, you have ah. to roll above a 10, right? <laughs> yeah. Very much. Okay, that's one oh. success. That's one step. That's one oh. success. Distisha. I gotta do that too now, huh? Yep, you do. Okay, that's, that's a, a success. I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, right, I'm supposed to press the death save. Bayleaf, you've got your potion I, out. I feed the potion to Maker. All right. I already, I already rolled that uh, that healing, so go ahead and add it. it. Yeah, it was a fifth. And no longer dying. Uh, I think that was damage that was dealt to you. Not healing, because it... no, it it should have been it. Yeah, it should have been added. I'm not sure what happened. Strange. Um. And then you have two more actions. Do you draw and administer a potion to Tisha as well, or do you try to first aid her? I think I only have one potion. <laughs> um. And I have no first aid kit, so. Okay. Crom. Okay, uh... 
It's not rocket science, Crom. <laughs> Put the potion in Distissia. Well, he's going to take one of Maker's potions because he doesn't have a potion on him at the moment. You should have hey, two of them. Do I? Oh, yeah. he passed them out. Yeah. Right. I, I still have a few potions on me, but I, yeah, forgot. I, I, sh I should have passed it out to them. Okay. potions, but elixirs of life. Uh, Krom administers the potion to Destitia. What's the roll on that? That's 1d6? Mm-hmm. Plus one, I think. Okay. <laughs> it's enough to get her out. Uh, mm. Is Maker still alive? Because I feel like I died. Yeah, he. He he's isn't. He's, he's actually. He's actually back up. Uh, active. <laughs> But he uh, has wanted to now, so that's horrible. He didn't hurt. Agreed. I hate oh, okay. these Wow, these were... Look at... That was horrible. These were no mountain bears, but... So, uh, Maker, I'm not sure where you got 15 hit points from. I've only got a 1d6 plus 1 bo uh, potion. I, I have actual healing potion. Yeah, oh, so you're taking those after? I think Maker told you to take one off his belt and pour it down. Yeah. Maker was not alive. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 told, I told that. I, I just, I just rode on. I just rode for one of my and removed one of my own potion. Oh, uh, I would have used mine to get you up. So okay. go ahead and take another one to six plus one. Ah, uh, okay then. Like, I'm not gonna sort of meta game it. I uh, uh, maybe could have taken it from her own belt. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I'll just uh, I'll probably just redistribute potions again, regardless. So. So. The clearing, such as it is, is quiet. The sound of bugs has faded. There's no rumbling in the ground. The lizard seems to have decided against continuing to fight with so many people once its kind of opportunistic attack kind of failed. You are alone for a moment. I hate <laughs> bugs. What's that I really, sound? really hate bugs. That's uh, Emily's air conditioning, I think. Ah, oh, okay. What's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That happens it, sometimes. It's I, fine. I thought, it, I, I thought I fixed that, but no. You did for most of the session, just that one time. It did It did fit the, the feel of this situation. It sounded like the sound of waves crashing on the shore. <laughs> <laughs> Maker can hear the waves on the other side. Are you two all? Are you two all right? Do you need help? Are you three all right? I should say. No. There's bugs. I hate this. I hate this place. It needs to burn. Hey, oh. Can I that? You. None of you was surviving Kasiren for a month, for a week even. Maybe doing that, that shuddering, having to shake a body off thing. Ugh. At least you didn't get grabbed. Am I going to have to carry everyone back to the flat back? I would love that. Just please. <laughs> Maker is just going to mount Hop his, on the crab. Mount his lo the lobster, yes. <laughs> Here you go. You get this is here and bay leaf under each arm. And yeah. you can pick me up. Let's try and avoid any more wildlife for the moment. Ideally. He must, he must be happy. You have a girl in each arm. One oh, is, Mr. Bucks get me right, Crumb. One is bleeding profusely and the other is having a mental break. <laughs> I think there are better ways to phrase that distance <laughs> I am in no I am in no condition to make a to make a comment. <laughs> Who's moving the crab? Who's moving the lobster? It, I don't know. It just ran off. <laughs> One day, See? suddenly, bam. See? <laughs> <laughs> Next time we're in 
next time when we have the chance, I'm building myself some throwing axes. Or it's time to teach you how to shoot. I agree to the notion. I need a little bit more health. I need more blood. It's all over the ground. I really need to clean my gun. Does anyone in this party have medicine? Yes, I have really good medicine. I oh. just need more than eight. I just need nine HP in order to use it on myself. Oh, yeah, you have the dangerous surgery. Yep, risky surgery. See, you have more than nine health. I can use it on you and get rid of one of your wounds. Uh, that would be, I would be thankful for that. And Maker is going to give this Tisha a healing potion in exchange. Thank you. Those are how much? Uh, moment. Oh. Oh, that feels so much better. That's actually a good question. How is ev uh, everyone with their medical knowledge? Does anyone here know first aid? Not a clue. Yes, no. I... I can work on it. I just need to get all this blood back in me. Do you want to perform such a thing now, or do you want to look for some place to rest for the remainder of the day? Give me a few moments. We still need some traveling. We need to travel some more while we have daylight. I can do it up. Let me just get on the flat back, and we can start moving. Ugh. All right. Just to see uses risky surgery on herself. As you pile back onto your mount or around your mount, you continue making your way through the forest using the remainder of the daylight hours. You do, once again, find an unusually, uh, unusually like calm place. You find this, this little, almost like a grotto where a number of large trees have woven their roots in such a way that there's almost a domed shelter over a, uh, over a, like a small blue tinged pool of water um, that uh, thankfully um, Bayleaf has there's a specific note in your book that describes this kind of water as not safe to drink not even a little bit safe to drink do not drink this water but oh. <laughs> it is a safe place to rest and most wildlife should not come too close to this place. Okay, guys, we can settle down here. Just just don't drink the water. Really don't. All right. Not Maker even a sippy sip. Right. Maker does not comment on that. It is okay. not blue naturally. It's, does the book say why you shouldn't drink it? It's blue raspberry. It's uh it's got parasites in it. A symbiotic creature that dwells with this particular kind of tree. Sort of dwells in its roots and protects them from creatures that would come and gnaw on or try to get its sap. But it's very harmful to animals, what if it gets into their digestive system? It'll make you very sick. It's not lethal. But it's very uncomfortable, and it'll give you horrible, like, intestinal trouble for weeks. You could have little buddies. I am going to attempt to heal Maker to get rid of one of his wounded. So he takes six damage. Okay. And... Crab friend. <laughs> oh, crab friend. 
Oops. Yeah, when we switch to the new thing, it automatically... Oh, it gets crab. Mm -hmm. I suppose I need to rename the token, don't I? Does have a proper name now. Yes, the sheet is renamed, but the token... The people deserve to see what it's actually called. Because I'm not sure, and I'm not sure anyone in the audience has actually heard that name properly yet. I know it took me reading the goddamn thing to actually understand the word. The name of the crab is Canceramicus. Canceramicus. Is Canceramicus. that a success? No, that I missed by one. <laughs> I'm great ah. at risky surgery. You just stabbed him for no reason. <laughs> I can try again in an hour. Just do an. Oops. Just do a normal check. No, I, I I can't do a normal wounded. check because well I can, but it's a lot harder to get rid of your wounded. I can only get your wounded away on a critical success. Yeah, just just do normal treat wounds checks to get us back to hit two. One d eight damage. Seconds. You take two damage. Down to ten. And now. The medicine. Boop, boop, this, this. And you're, there you go. You're like a rainbow doctor. You are healed by. Uh, is that medicine check? This medicine. You are free of your wounded. And you heal 48. So slash. Oh. E. You heal 22. Oh, neat. So up to 32. And one last one. Okay. Okay. We could pretty much just sleep off the rest of the hurt. Right. How Probably. much do you heal during a long rest? Uh, I'm not actually sure. When you have a good night's sleep, you recover. Uh, it points equal to your constitution modifier, multiplied by twice your level. So eight hit points. I'm gonna risky surgery myself. I need that those hit points. How many hours do we have till bedtime? Um, honestly, you have like a number of days. So like you're only going to get the one like rest period. But you can do as many of these like surgeries as you feel like, honestly. All right. Or just normal three wounds rolls as yeah. well. You have, you have plenty of time. You can all heal to full as far as I'm concerned. Like, oh, except, okay. except for me who's got that one debuff that removes some of my HP until we hit the temple, yeah. right? Yes. Yep. And Maker is stuck with the one. The one wounded. Yep. Ah, <sighs> just back to fifty-two hit points again. I pretty much rule that Destitia, as pretty much a f apprentice flesh smith, doesn't really know how to do anything but risky surgery. Yeah, she's used to like grafting limbs, not <laughs> stitching up battlefield injuries. Her medical training was academic, not practical. <laughs> uh. It works on the cadavers, okay? But with that, I think it might be a little bit late to get into the next encounter. That was a rather oh, exciting yeah. battle. That was a... Uh, Slightly more thrilling battle than I was expecting it to be. So a little bit of an early wrap to not run over time. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a little bit of an early wrap so that we don't drag people a whole bunch over the normal time limit. And next time, we'll make the remaining leg of the journey to the Tomb of Nessus. Yeah. You owe me one, maker.
I will try to repay them. It's an important question, though. How many times over the course of the remainder of this journey does Destitia point out that she risks her own life to save Maker? Once in the morning, once before bed, every day. <laughs> uh, like clockwork, enough. which Maker should appreciate. The value of life diminishes by the minute. Uh, saving oh. someone's life, but you've also made it quantifiably worse by being in it. <laughs> uh, anyhow, with that, I think it is time to wrap up. Thank you to everyone for playing. Thanks to everyone in the audience for watching. If you've enjoyed this game and are interested in participating, you can hire me. I run tabletop games professionally in a wide variety of systems and genres. Just check out the About tab on my channel for a rundown on how you can get in touch with me. I'd love to work with you to set up exactly the kind of game you and your group are looking for. Until next time, be kind where you can, brave where appropriate, and always try to act in solidarity with those less fortunate than yourselves. <laughs>